Hi, this is Andre Blackman from FolsomSignal.com, and I'm interviewing Jay Bernhardt, Director of the Health Marketing Group at the CDC. Uh, Jay, thanks for having uh, this time for us. Um, I had a quick question. Uh, how did you guys come up with the idea for this conference uh, for health marketing, communication, uh, and media? Great. Happy to chat with you today, Andre. Uh, several years ago uh, at CDC, all of us who work in this area in health communication and marketing and media and all the related fields, we've all been to lots and lots of conferences uh, around the country, around the world. And at various times, we come across a really interesting panel or a really interesting session that's relevant for our work. You know, sometimes there's a small group of sessions or panels, but we really found that there was never one place, one centralized conference that would bring together all the experts, the practitioners and the researchers and the scientists from all the different sectors in one place where we could all meet each other, get to know each other and work together and share best practices and ideas for moving our field forward. So we said, since it doesn't exist, let's build it. And we went ahead and we scheduled the first one three years ago. We had it on CDC property. There were about 400 people or so there, a little less. And we were thrilled. It was a huge success. And then we planned the, uh, the second one last year here in Atlanta. And uh, lo and behold, we had almost 900 people. We more than doubled uh, the attendance from the first to the second year. And this is our third year now. And we have 1,000 people here at the meeting. And we would have had a lot more. We had to cap off the, uh, the uh, attendance because of space limitations. So, uh, you know, really, I think we're meeting, a, we're meeting a need in the field. And I'm glad it's such a success. Absolutely fantastic, Jay. Um, and, and the next question is, how important do you feel it is for public health to go in this direction using uh, new media, just new innovative tools uh, to, to solve new problems? Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely essential. You know, if you know my work and my interests, uh, clearly I'm a big supporter of 2.0 participatory approaches, <clears throat> technology that associates with it. But I, I would say that it's not only for solving new problems, it's for solving old problems. I think that you know, technology and communication is a means to an end. We don't leverage and use video, we don't leverage and use mobile or Twitter or anything else just because it exists. It allows us to address the issues that we have to address anyway. Issues of uh, engaging and empowering communities, issues of providing information to people in a way that they can actually use it. it ways to listen to people and hear what their concerns are so we can make our approaches and our interventions even more effective. So I think that technology allows us to do what we've always done, but to do it better, faster, in many cases less expensively, and in many cases more effectively. That's why I'm so, so supportive of new technologies for public health. Right. Jay, thank you so very much for your time here. I'm um, looking forward to the rest of the conference. Thanks a lot. Good to talk to you. All right.